Hey, all of my Patreon peeps out there. So this is the third episode um, within the special that I'm doing. Um, the top three classes, one melee, one spell, and one specialist. I won't be doing Iconic Hero because uh, this series is really meant to focus on the free version, the free aspect. Uh, again, like I've stated in the other two videos. Um, so let's get into this. Um, the specialists can come in a variety of flavors. Um, Artificer is going to be additional content. Otherwise, it would be my go-to. Um, Artificer is amazing, hands down. I love playing them. They're, they're unique. They're different. You can solo very well with them. They can disable traps. They have a pet. Um, you can use a, a repeating um, a crossbows. And they're, they're just amazing characters. And plus, they can heal themselves. So they're uh, kind of like a bard in a sense, but more in the longs of autonomation. Um, so it, that would be my go-to. However, we have these uh, three to choose from. Now, rangers um, are like a real flexible fighter, if you will, in, in, in Eberron, in the game setting of Eberron for Dungeons & Dragons Online. Um, they are very good. They'll be able to you know, summon beasts later on, animal empathies and things of that nature. Um, they are somewhat of a unique class. Um, they, it, it'd be good to be ranged. However, you don't, you don't have to be ranged. You can use dual wielding. Um, the rogue, you know, is a little bit difficult. Sometimes it is challenging to play a rogue and, you can disable traps and do all kinds of wonderful things with the rogue, but they're really, unless you really know what you're doing, like I said, it's just challenging. Um, it can be a challenge. Now, a bard. Um, a bard, it says challenging here. Um, I, I would not agree with that. Uh, strangely enough, um, maybe it's just my mentality, but uh, a bard is fun to play. They have a lot of different options, and you know they're they're like a um I don't know they're they're just fun. So I I'm going to actually select bard and give you my bard build now. We're going to look at some options here. They're going to need to focus on charisma. Um, they're going to need to focus on uh, a little bit of strength, constitution. So if we can at all try to set them up like a paladin, in a sense, we might be all right. All right. So we are, you've got these three to choose from um see you can the war chanter is good spell slinger that's a support role that's why it's challenging and then you know devoted to the sword and the art of the song these bards are able to extend the duration of their songs the effects and can enthrall multiple enemies at once um that means take care of <laughs> so Let's see here. Where did they put their stats at? So 18, 16, 14. See, these are the the three that they're not concentrating about. Spell Slinger is full charisma. And then this is more of a balanced build. Let's see what we can do. Now, again, um, I'm going to do a customization. Um, we are going to select human because that will be available to you if this again was me i would be going to drow uh drow is my favorite one of my favorite races period and uh now a 28 point build is really
really it's really what you guys are gonna gonna be doing um so let's set this up unless if you have the champion uh ability so you know you may want to go half elf and go champion build if that is uh, something that's available to you well let's go here we're gonna go and put a 15 in that to start with uh, we're going to want to give us a little bit of dexterity. I want to negate that. I'm not worried about wisdom. So let's see what we have here for charisma. So, um, let's see. So charisma is going to be the main focus point. Strength, constitution. Dexterity to a point because, you know, I have to be careful on armor. Um, I really do. You have to use, uh, you can't put plate on this character like you can the paladin or the cleric. You're le I would be looking for elven chainmail. That's what I will be looking for. Ultimately, that's going to be the goal for me to obtain is elven chain. Um, so, let's see here. So if I did, if I did get rid of that, um, I lose a couple points. So I'm going to do that just so I can max out my charisma. Um, my strength is pretty much pretty good. Constitution's decent. We'll we'll go with that. Now let's see where we're at. So bards, instead of twelve skill points, you get you get twenty eight with the bard. Now, if I go back and remove this intelligence down to eight what do i have i've got 24 so you know what for me that seems a little stronger so i'm going to go with that all right we're going to click balance mm, just one in buff concentration it is a must not going to worry about those other ones um <laughs> Use magic device that is going to be a must. Gonna throw a couple in heal just so I'm a little bit better at rest shrines. And I want to do, uh, I don't want to have any penalties with my searches. So we will go and perform. We're going to want to make sure we do on perform. This is going to be the main thing that kind of inspires there when I'm doing my little trick -a -dur -a -dur -dur. Um, So that is going to be key. So how do I want to play my bard? You know, uh, we want to play the bard with two-handed fighting. Weapon, any type of weapon mastery, you know, that's kind of what you're going to need to determine. I am a firm believer on toughness and magical training. Now, you can do mental toughness. Um, so it increases your maximum spell points by 10 at the first level and 5 points for each additional level also increases your spell uh, critical chance by one and then this increases my spell points by 80 and then uh, so initially I'm going to take that that's going to help me out quite a bit increase my survivability now I'm going to have to find spells and load them into a spell book 
but it 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 is pretty fun um to to do this so it it's um as you as you level up you'll be able to choose a few here and there um i'm surprised it's only giving me one uh, with with an 18 charisma i really should i really should get two um but we're going to go ahead and uh, you know taking cure light wounds um for the very first one is smart to do um the second one you would want to do when you get to that point i would say is summon monsters you know um and then uh detect secret doors should be your number 3 choice and then after that whatever else seems good to you um but those are going to be your top 3 spells um at level 1 for level 1 spells your feather fall uh you should focus on getting a ring or a boot a piece of equipment um that has the feather fall attribute added on it so it's fully active all the time. I've been into a lot of situations where, you know, storm giant, whoosh, and I go flying. Ah, and if you don't have feather fall on, you're probably going to die. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, so this is kind of what we've got here. You know, so what the bard's got, you know. And... Proficiencies. All right, so long swords, rapiers, short sword, short bow. Um, so that's good. Now, if I was going to, let's just reflect there. I'm going to do melee with this guy. So if I was going to do ranged, I need to switch strength, basically strength and dexterity. I would have a, a 10 strength and a 16 dexterity. That's what I would do if I was going to use range. Now, it is, you know, it maybe it's smart. Maybe we'll do that. You guys want to do that? Let, let's do that. Let's shake it up a little bit. I actually really love using... Um, Re repeating crossbows now let's you know let's take this back let's do that guys let's have a little fun let's have a little fun all right we're gonna do that we're gonna keep those the same we're gonna mix this part up a little bit so we will find let's see here here are the weapons so bum, bum, bum. think maybe they count as as um repeating heavy repeating crossbows heavy crossbow heavy light crossbow um those probably fall under them it looks like they may have changed some things and it could be falling under um yeah, underneath that, because they're not listed. They, they would be listed right here if that was the case. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll go ahead and do the magical training. Um, I'm still going to do the, the toughness just because I'm paranoid. And we'll go from there. All right. And we've got our one spell selected, Cure Light Wounds. 
next. There we go. That's what we're going to go with. It's okay to change your mind, too. Um, but we're going to have a little fun with this with this bard. I wish there was the back button on the randomizer. There we go. We'll go with that. Mm. All right, yeah, we're going to keep her neutral good, and we will go ahead and create that. All right, guys. So that does it for this tutorial. We're going to do some air experimentations um, for the uh, the paladin. You know, we're just we're we're, we're going to show you level one capabilities and level seven capabilities, as well as the cleric for level one and level seven, and the bard for level one and level seven. So let's have some fun with it, and uh, we'll see you in game. Thanks for uh, checking this out.